Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, June 25th. I'm James Spann. What a classic summer day in Alabama today. Sun, heat, and a few scattered showers and storms. Let's check some of the Skycam shots around the network. We'll start things off with a view coming from Birmingham, looking southwest. A field of cumulus clouds. A few of those have formed in the showers and storms today. There's the Hamilton Skycam up in Marion County in northwest Alabama. And... On the Alabama Gulf Coast, that's the Dauphin Island Sky Cam, the Dauphin Island Sea Lab. If you're beachbound in coming days, about six to eight hours of sunshine each day with a few scattered showers and storms, pretty much what you expect here this time of the year. Storm track well to the north of here. The dynamic systems stay north, and around here we have light and variable winds aloft. Tropical air, the daytime heating process, few scattered showers and storms. Temperatures, those were captured at early afternoon. We had mostly mid to upper 80s there. Uh, Most spots should be somewhere between 87 and 90 today. We'll expect similar values each day for the rest of this week. And that's a classic summer look. Looks like the radar has the measles, polka dots. That's a radar at 115. A few scattered showers and storms. They're pretty widely spaced. Some of the heavier ones over the eastern side of the state. And we'll expect the radar to look like that uh, tomorrow and Thursday. Organized severe weather way up north, all the way from North Dakota to almost Cape Cod. Tomorrow, the risk extends down into Tennessee. We note that, but Alabama is not involved in that. And on day three, a slight risk of severe weather from uh, Washington, D.C. and Baltimore on up into parts of southern New York. Here's the overall rain expected for the next five days. This carries us through Sunday morning. This is suggesting the better amounts on the eastern side of the state. And the tropics are quiet, at least on the Atlantic side. We note a hurricane in the eastern Pacific, Hurricane Cosme, uh, packing sustained winds of 75 miles an hour. That will be moving to the west-northwest. No threat to any landmass. It will dissipate over the cooler waters late this week or early in the weekend. Take a look at the GFS, the global forecast system. This is valid at uh, 1 o'clock local time tomorrow afternoon at 500 millibars. A building upper high over the southwest and the developing downstream trough over the east. But tomorrow, the weather probably not changing all that much. A few widely scattered showers, highs between 87 and 90. Here's the high-res NAM, and it's very dry. Uh, It's been very consistent with this idea. This is suggesting very few places will get wet tomorrow. But Thursday, the model wants to blow some storms up around here. This is Thursday evening at 7 o'clock local time, so maybe a little bump in the number of showers and storms Thursday afternoon. In advance of those storms, we'll probably see a high at or just over 90 on Thursday. And pretty much the same deal on Friday, a chance of scattered showers and storms, highs at or just over 90. The the GFS Moss products are running way too hot. They've got us up in the mid-90s. That's not going to happen, more than likely. Saturday, as we kick off the weekend, you can see what's happening. A very intense upper high is near Las Vegas, and, man, it's going to be blistering hot out there. Phoenix uh, could do 117 degrees on Saturday. Uh, Las Vegas could do 110. But over the Great Lakes, nice, cool troughing developing. And down below that, a surface boundary tries to ease in here, and that would bring a pretty decent chance of showers and storms on Saturday, if this is correct. And then Sunday, all of a sudden, the GFS wants to pull down some drier air. And we go mostly rain-free with lower humidity values. I'm not ready to buy into that solution yet on the last day of June. And then Monday, the moisture comes right back with scattered showers and storms and highs in the mid to upper 80s. Hey, and look at this. This is amazing. This is a week from today. Come on now. You talk about high amplitude. That's remarkable for summer. You've got a 597 heat bubble over northern Nevada and Oregon and a big downstream trough up and down the Mississippi River. And by golly, that just might bring some severe weather in here if that happens to be correct. That would certainly bring a good chance of showers and storms, but we've seen that trough axis in different places, so it's too early to call. But uh, certainly, if that is hap- does happen to be correct, that would suggest a pretty good chance of showers and storms. Check later uh, next week. This is the 4th of July, Independence Day, Thursday. 
And a nice tropical moisture feed comes up in here with a pretty decent chance of showers and storms. You know, we've seen some runs a few days ago that showed some type of tropical low. <laughs> That's off the board for now. Uh, we've not seen that in a couple of days, but uh, the moisture looks pretty deep. And the end of the forecast on July 11th. I uh, got a 591 ring around here, and that would be kind of hot and muggy and maybe a shower and nothing really out of the ordinary for July in Alabama. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by tomorrow morning at 7. And don't forget, if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on either the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.